Okay, here's Jessie. Everybody loves Jessie. Except my producers because she eats the windscreens off the mic. She's been there for six months. She should have a good idea and a sense that's her home now. If you're really nervous, put a cat harness on her and take her outside with the harness and the leash. I did. She wiggles her way out of that twice. Most of the time. Remember, I say most of the time. Hey, don't eat my glasses. Excuse me. Hey, don't eat my bird. If you're wondering why I'm not taking any phone calls, it's because Harry chewed my earpiece off. So if you have a fax you want to send me, go ahead and send it, because I won't be able to take any phone calls as long as my earpiece is chewed off. Um, a monkey is an animal that is never alone. It's always with other monkeys. Once a monkey grows up in a human family, it bonds to that family, and it can never be left alone. That means you can never go on vacation. It has to be euthanized, because it will never accept another human family. So getting a monkey is a very um, it, it's long -term a long-term commitment. Nobody ever kept dogs in cages. We would housebreak puppies. Excuse me, we have an African gray parrot on the floor. Come on. <laughs> That's right, I know where he is. Thank you very much. Everybody likes Teresa. Here's some lettuce for the chinchillas, too. OK, well, let me tell you how to keep oh, the cat on the floor. I don't want to leave the cat on the floor. Come on, you suck all the juices out with those two fangs. Kitty on the floor again. Come here, kitty. They suck their two fangs into the sponge and suck the water up like oh, kitty on the floor. Excuse me. You know, oh, like I thought Florida it was only the in the summertime. No, no, no. Oh, we got a bird on the floor. Excuse <laughs> me, Tanika. Come on, bird. He's getting bored. This is live TV. Anything can happen. <laughs> like a pug or a little shizu like this. <laughs> or a little shizu. Flat-faced dogs suffer immensely in hot weather because they can't pant properly. Let go of the puppy. Now, what he realizes when you reach down to him when he's eating, you're reaching down just to give him more food. Mm -hmm. You give him a little bit more food the next time. The, whatever odor that the cat came back from the vet with is gone now. Okay. All right, so now, but that cat still remembers how scared he was. Hello? Hi. Um, I have a, a rabbit. A rabbit, okay. And... Glasses make great toys for birds, too. Hmm. The first one's from Corey. Hey, puppy. Puppy's going to answer the facts. What's it say? All right, if you can't read it, then mind your own business. We'll suck all on you like that. Or on a, they'll suck on a piece of wool. Puppy on the floor. They'll suck on a piece of wool, or they'll suck on, where's the puppy? Barney, where's the puppy? Oh, here's a puppy. Come here, puppy. Good thing puppies bounce. I have questions to ask you. Does it matter? Excuse me, bird. There's a book called Watership Down that I read when I was a kid, and I fell in love. Hey, let go with the bird. Now, as I was saying, speaking of cats, where's our cat? Hope he's not eating a bird someplace. Oh. oh. Hello, kitty. Let's find our cat first. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. OK, no kitty. First of all, sparrows really have a hard time to sit on these little poles here and pull the sunflower seeds out. And secondly, they don't have a bill that's strong enough to crack the sunflower seeds. Kitty, kitty's trying to have fun with iguanas, and it doesn't work that way. Let me just get the cat out of the iguana cage here. Afraid he might use it as a litter box. Let me get this cat out of here before he eats a $60 lizard. Come on, kitty. That doesn't look good on TV. True albino, excuse me. A true albino cockatiel, no excuse for him. Oh, excuse me, we've got a cat walking around here. Well, that cat's going to stay down. He wants to go exploring the studio. And give him a command, like hurry up. No, 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 not you. Come here, Brian. And Brian is one of my, whoops, there goes Brian. He's really well trained. OK, well, you'll have to take my word for it. Brian is pretty smart. <laughs> Maybe he'll come down with us later. Can we get an extra minute on the break? OK, if I get a tall lad, I'll get Brian down, because I built a lot of the show around him. Could you just stand behind here and don't let anybody fall off, please? You look like an animal-loving type. Great. Oh, now he went even higher. OK. Ah, freak. Brian, come down, please. How about a broom? Could you hold the ladder for me? Yeah, yeah, Thanks. Yeah, a broom will do nicely. I'm too scared to go any higher. Come on down, Brian. Welcome back to Pet Puri. Brian, the umbrella cockatoo, decided to come down and join us again. The different types of toys that are available for pocket pets. <laughs> this cheetah's want to let go of me now. Come on, let go. You're going to get eaten if I pull you out of here. Most children will quickly become bored with them. But they are fascinating little rodents for the rodent connoisseur. OK, get off my fingers. This guy's feet are made of flypaper. Get off. There we go. Sorry, little guy. 